Indeed, life is truly a gift. I need to remind myself that every single day and make it count, and hopefully you'll make it count as well. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Today, we'll be creating a neon text sign using Video Copilot Saber plugin. It's a free plugin, there's no excuse. It should be part of your After Effects toolkit. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and with your support, I can continue to make more After Effects tutorial. Let's get started right away. Let's get started by creating a new composition. Head over to the comp icon, let's click on it, and let's call it neon sign. I'll make it 1920 by 1080, 23.976 frames per second, and I'll give it a duration of five seconds long, but feel free to modify any of these parameters. Hit OK, and let's go to the text tool. Make sure that you have the character panel open, and we'll be using this font called Lost Enter, and if we go to our browser, this is from thefont.com. I'll put a link to this page so you can quickly download this font. Let's go back and type in your text. I'll type in After Effects. And make sure that you give it a gray color. It's 254 the size of this font. And all the other settings leave it at its default value. Now let's head over to the Align panel and let's align it horizontally and let's align it vertically so it's right in the middle. Let's zoom in and it's pretty flat, but we can apply an effect to give it more of a 3D look. It's not really 3D, it's more of a hack, but it should work really good for this tutorial. Select the layer, go to effect, go to perspective, and go to bevel alpha. And for the edge thickness, let's increase it. And we can increase it to a value of eight it should work pretty good. And you can see that it looks more 3D. It's not really 3D, it's 2D, but we're faking it. Like I mentioned, it's a hack. Let's go ahead and let's add the neon glow. To do that, let's add a solid layer. Go to Layer, New Solid, and we can give it any color that we want. Make sure that you hit Make Comp Size, so it's the size of your composition. And let's call it Saber Glow. Now we'll be using Video Copilot Saber plugin to apply this neon glow. And if we go back to Video Copilot, it's 100% free. This plugin is free. It's amazing. It should be part of your After Effects toolkit. I'll put a link to this page so you can quickly go and download this plugin. Right here is a link to download for Windows and this is a link to download for Mac. Once you download it, once you install it, come back to After Effects and let's apply Saber. Go to Effect, Video Copilot, and let's go to Saber. And once you apply it, this is what you get right out of the box. Now, there's a lot of different presets, and definitely take your time to go through the different presets because it's pretty cool, all the different presets that you have. Now, there's a preset called Neon, so let's go down to Neon. And let's go to Customize Core. Let's drill down. And for the core type, we have three different options. Saber, which is this line right here, layer mask, and text layer. Let's choose text layer. Now it's asking us which layer do you want to use. This is a layer, our layer number two, which is our text layer. So let's select that, After Effects. And it's too bright. So for the glow intensity, let's bring it down to about 30%. And it might be a little bit too much. We can dial it down to 25% and we can adjust the spread, the bias, and the core. Let's make this 1.5, and we can probably bring it down, just experiment, but these are good values to start out with. 25%, 0 0.3, 0 0.15, and 1.5. We can change the color, we can change it to maybe a blue, and let's go ahead, and there's one more important thing that we need to do. Let's go to the render settings, let's drill down, and let's go to composite settings and let's go to the drop down. And there are three options. Right now, it's on a black background. What we want to do is choose transparent. Once we choose transparent, and if we solo this layer and we click on the transparency grid, you can see that it's on a transparent layer. And that's exactly what we want because now we can composite this glow on top of our text layer. And what we can do is we can add a blending mode. For example, we can add screen or we can add light in so it's on top of our text. Okay, this is looking pretty good for now. 
let's go ahead and let's add a wall. Let's go back to our project and I'll be using this texture. It's not seamless. I definitely recommend getting a seamless texture so you can tile it perfectly, but this one will do for this tutorial. So let's bring it, let's bring it down here. Let's rename it to wall. I'm going to scale it down to 75. And let's tile this, go to effect, stylize motion tile. Let's make this 200 for the width, 200 for the height, and let's mirror the edges. Okay, let's select all these layers and let's put them in 3D space by turning on the 3D switch. So let's turn on the 3D switch and let's go to two views horizontal and let's switch for this one, let's switch it to the top view. And what we want to do is select the wall and let's push it back. Let's go to this window and let's push it back in Z space. So if we select the layer, hit P for position, we can push it back maybe about 35 pixels. Perfect. And what we can do as well is add a spotlight. Go to layer, new light. Make sure they select spot and make it 100, 70, 50, and make sure they have cast shadows turned on. Hit OK. And let's bring this up here. And for this, let's switch it to the left view. Let's zoom out. And simply grab the light. And let's move it here. Perfect. This is looking pretty good. Switch it back to one view. And what we can do is let's drill down to the light options. And for the cone angle, we can bring it down. Let's see, let's bring it down. Perfect. This looks pretty good. And you can adjust the cone angle and the cone feather. You can make it zero if you want a more hard edge. It doesn't look too good, but we can go back to 50. 50 looks pretty good. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to go into the material options for these layers. So what we can do is select the Saber Glow layer, hit AA to go to the material options. We want to turn off cast shadows, which is off. Accept shadows, turn it off. And accept lights, let's turn it off. This way, this glow is not being affected at all by our light. Let's go to our text layer. And once again, hit AA to go to the material options. And if it doesn't work for you, you can just simply drill down to material options and here it is. So for this one, let's turn on the cast shadows and make sure accept shadows, accept lights is turned on. If we zoom in, you can see that we can see the shadow. If we turn it off, there's nothing. Turn it on here. We can see a nice shadow. This is looking pretty good. And we can add a camera, go to layer, new camera, two nodes, make it 50 millimeter, hit OK, hit P for position and shift A so we can bring up the point of interest. Let's add keyframes and let's go all the way. Actually, let's rotate this this way. And by the way, this is, I'm using the orbit tool and the keyboard shortcut is the letter C. C for Charlie for the orbit tool. And let's go all the way to the very end and let's just rotate it this way. Perfect. And if you want, you can tweak the spotlight. You can go back to two views and we can bring it closer. Let's try to bring, let's try to grab this light exactly and we can bring it closer. And we can bring the cone angle, we can increase it. These are settings that it's all up to you. Okay, let's do a RAM preview and let's check it out. Let's see what we have so far. Let's hit zero so we can do a RAM preview. Okay, it's looking good. We can always go back to Saber Glow and we can change the blending mode if we want. Let's see, linear dodge. And we can increase intensity. Let's say we can in increase intensity if we want or the spread. It's up to you. Play with these parameters. Now, Saber has an option to make it flicker and it's really helpful. So let's go to flicker and 
you can modify the intensity and the speed. So what we can do is, for example, in the intensity, we can make it 30. And for the speed, we can make it 25. So let's check it out. Let's actually solo this layer and let's check it out. So you can see that it's flickering, which looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disable this, make it zero so it doesn't flicker at all. And we're going to add our own little flicker. So the first 12 frames will have this off. So let's trim this layer. We can bring the edge or use a keyboard shortcut, Alt, left bracket. So it starts out, it's turned off. And then we'll make it flicker so it turns on. And we'll do that by adding a simple expression for the opacity. So select the Saber layer, hit T for opacity. And let's add a slider control. Go to Effect. Go to Expression Control, Slider Control, and let's call this Flicker Amount. Let's go to the Opacity, and I'll click on the stopwatch to open the expression box and type in Wiggle. And this is how we're going to make it flicker. Now, Wiggle takes two values, two numbers. The first one is how many times you want to flicker per second, and the second one, the second value that we give it is how much do we want to flicker? So what we'll do is put parentheses. Let's flicker, for example, 12 times per second, comma. And instead of giving it a number, using the pick whip, we'll link it to this slider so we can manually put the amount that we want to flicker. Now we need to put another parentheses. And that's it. Let's click outside. And what we can do is, let's go here to 12. And let's add a keyframe for the slider. Let's actually make it 100. And let's add a keyframe. Hit U to reveal all the keyframes. And actually, let's go down to 1. Let's move this keyframe over. And at 112, let's make it 0. So by making it 0, we pretty much turn it off. And let's see what we have. Nice. And we can always adjust these keyframes. And if you want, you can go back to Saber and you can give it a little bit of a flicker intensity so it's always flickering throughout. And let's switch it to full. Let's go here and let's check it out. And that's how you can create a neon sign using the Saber plugin from Video Copilot. It's in 3D space, but we're faking the 3D of the neon sign.